Welcome to Monday Night Raw, where tonight the final spot in the five-man elimination challenge at Backlash will be determined when the Monday Night Messiah, Seth freaking Rollins, returns to the red brand to challenge the Celtic warrior Sheamus one-on-one. -on -one. We are live from Green Bay, Wisconsin. Welcome to Monday Night Raw, and it is time to kick off the semifinals in the number one contenders tournament for the Intercontinental Championship. The King of Strong Style, Shinsuke Nakamura, defeated Happy Corbin two weeks ago. Tonight, he's got his hands full with the Judgment Day's Damian Priest. This is going to be a great matchup with high implications to kick us off here tonight on Raw. The following is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring, accompanied by Rick Boogs from Kyoto, Japan, weighing in at 220 pounds. Shinsuke Nakamura! Nakamura is familiar with the Intercontinental Championship. He has held that gold in the past. But tonight he's got Damian Priest in his way if he wants to possibly get an opportunity at that gold at Backlash. The current Intercontinental Champion, the invincible Ilya Dragunov, has been sitting back and watching this eight-man tournament take place. Again, Nakamura defeated Happy Corbin two weeks ago. His opponent tonight, Damian Priest, defeated one half of the Street Profits in Montez Ford. Now these two men kick off the first of two semifinal matches here tonight in Green Bay. The finals taking place next week on Raw, all on the road to April 16th at Backlash, where the Intercontinental Championship will be on the line. And an eerie vibe has come over Monday Night Raw as the Judgment Day have arrived. And his opponent, accompanied by Finn Balor, representing the Judgment Day from New York, New York, weighing in at 249 pounds, Damian Priest. Finn Balor accompanying Priest down the ringside tonight, but let's take a look at how this eight-man tournament has taken place so far. Priest and Nakamura about to kick us off. Then later tonight, Xavier Woods, who defeated The Miz, and Cedric Alexander, who defeated Tommaso Ciampa last week, will meet in your second semifinal matchup right here tonight in Green Bay on Monday Night Raw. Damian Priest and Finn Balor forming this new unit known as the Judgment Day. And the path of destruction has already begun to make its way through this number one contenders tournament for the Intercontinental Championship. Damian Priest's former tag team partner, Dominic Dijakovic, was drafted to SmackDown. We unfortunately haven't seen him since WrestleMania. On the other hand, Finn Balor was drafted to Monday Night Raw, and evidently this Judgment Day team is something that Priest and Finn Balor have been juicing up for weeks, but... Nonetheless, Priest in singles action tonight against Shinsuke Nakamura as we kick off what should be an exciting edition of Monday Night Raw. And again, still to come tonight, Cedric Alexander one-on-one -on -one with one-third of the New Day and Xavier Woods, plus in your main event, it is going to be Seth freaking Rollins returning to Monday Night Raw since getting drafted over a few weeks ago as he goes one-on-one -on -one with the Celtic Warrior Sheamus, the winner of that matchup will be the fifth and final man in the five-man elimination match at Backlash to determine a future challenger for the WWE Championship. And of course, last week on Raw, we unfortunately saw the WWE Champion Matt Riddle ambushed by none other than the street champ Solo Sokoa, who was drafted from Raw from NXT a number of weeks ago. Hoping to get an update on Matt Riddle later tonight and more to discuss about the whole Riddle Randy Orton situation at Hell in the Cell, or should be inside Hell in the Cell at Backlash. But nonetheless, let's focus in on the matchup right now. Damian Priest, the Archer of Infamy, versus Shinsuke Nakamura. Damian Priest, a former NXT North American champion, a former United States champion, and most recently was a world tag team champion here in the WWE. Also a Dusty Rhodes tag team classic finalist at WrestleMania, but evidently that was not good enough. Dijak getting sent to SmackDown, and Priest already wasted no time finding a new path here on Monday Night Raw. Priest bringing the works to Shinsuke Nakamura right now. Both men with their tag team partners in their corner tonight. Rick Boogs accompanying Nakamura, Balor accompanying Priest, but it's not about the tag teams tonight. It is about the one-on-one -on -one affair and a chance to move on to the finals of this very tournament next week. Nakamura, his accolades have been well decorated. 
former United States champion, former Intercontinental champion, former tag team champion, and of course, a former NXT champion. Both of these men looking to get another reign with the Intercontinental Championship. In order to do so, they're going to have to get through the invincible Ilya Dragunov. And Nakamura trying to fight back. A couple of forearms to Damian Priest. Here comes the king of strong style, proving that nickname worth right now. Into the cover. Priest getting knocked off his feet. There's a shoulder up. But Nakamura starting to get fired up here tonight on the red brand. It's a big fight atmosphere in the arena tonight. So many stakes regarding backlash are on the line tonight. As Damian Priest and Nakamura are kicking things off here on Monday Night Raw. Nice elbow by Priest. Nakamura kind of took his eye off the ball there for a moment. He can't do that against Damian Priest. He may not like this new attitude of Priest, but you damn sure got to respect his abilities from bell to bell. Remember, Priest defeated Montez Ford in the first round a few weeks ago, but after the matchup, ambushed Montez Ford at ringside, sent him shoulder first into the steel steps, and I'm sure the Street Profits have not forgotten about that. Sure, Montez would love to get his hands on Damian Priest yet again, but right now Priest has got his hands full with Shinsuke Nakamura. Nakamura going under on Priest. There's a counter by the Archer of Infamy. Tries going behind. Nakamura counters, whips Priest off. There's a kick by Nakamura. Whole lot of strikes coming from the man known as the King of Strong Style. Who is going to win this contest and go on to fight the winner of? Cedric Alexander and Xavier Woods next week on Monday Night Raw. And the winner of that match again will meet the invincible Ilya Dragunov one on one in Minneapolis, Minnesota at the Target Center Sunday night, April 16th at Backlash for the Intercontinental Championship. Nice move by Nakamura there, but not done inflicting punishment on the man who knows that word so very well. Nakamura and Finn Balor and Rick Boogs, all three men who were drafted over from Friday Night SmackDown to Monday Night Raw. Nakamura and Balor, no strangers to each other over these last couple of months. Wait a minute, Nakamura goes for the axe hammer to the outside. Priest countered with a shot to the rib cage. And Priest sending Nakamura into Judgment Day territory. Better watch his back there, but Nakamura already trying to fight out of that predicament. Nakamura sending Damian Priest. Oh, almost right into his tag team partner. As Finn Balor looks on, as we are mentioning, no strangers to each other are Balor and Nakamura. These two men had plenty of wars on Friday Night SmackDown the last number of months, but now both find their home on Monday Night Raw. As Damian Priest back into the ring and goes behind on Shinsuke Nakamura. Nakamura can't take Damian Priest lightly tonight, or the Archer of Infamy will certainly take advantage. Backbreaker now up to the middle buckle and a spear by Damian Priest. An emphatic maneuver into the cover. Nakamura gets the shoulder up, but Damian Priest certainly adding some new tools to the repertoire there. Oh no, face first goes Shinsuke into the cover. Will that do it? Priest going to the finals, no. Nakamura kicks out, rolling out of the ring there to enemy territory. Oh wait a minute, Finn Balor Nakamura's days, but Finn Balor's brought him to his feet, and it allows Damian Priest to dive through the ropes and come from behind what could possibly be a knockout blow on Shinsuke Nakamura tonight. That is not good for Shinsuke. Balor bringing him to his feet again. Referee's at a count of three right now, count of four. But Damian Priest has certainly put a number on his opponent tonight. Nakamura's got to get back in this ring, and he's got to get focused. He's got to get the wheels turning. And there you go. A reversal by Nakamura. Goes for the kick. Damian Priest. Oh, Nakamura absorbs it. There's a backbreaker there. Back and forth. The momentum starts to swing. And Finn Balor trying to take Nakamura's eye off the ball. Priest trying to come from behind. Nakamura having none of it. And face first goes the Archer of Infamy. Oh, we've got ourselves a matchup now. King Sasso and Damian Priest out of nowhere. Will that do it? No. Oh, 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 man. Monday Night Raw is kicking off with a doozy tonight. Nakamura hitting the King Sasso and Priest. Not enough to put him away just yet. Now back into the cover. And Damian gets the shoulder up again. 
This is what it's all about. These two men fighting tooth and nail just to go to the finals of the number one contenders tournament. Nakamura, Death Valley driver there. Oh, and that was a close one. Damian Priest getting the shoulder up at two and a half right there. Damian, oh, he got him again. Damian Priest was going for a clothesline, but Nakamura may have caught him with the kill. There it is. What a match to kick things off tonight. Green Bay, Wisconsin getting their money's worth. Nakamura, Damian Priest, tooth and nail from the get-go, but only one man is moving to the finals of the tournament. Here is your winner, Shinsuke Nakamura. Shinsuke Nakamura is back in a big way. But who will he face next week in the finals of the number one contenders tournament for the Intercontinental Championship? We will find out later tonight, right here on Monday Night Raw. We're back live here on Raw, and we are set for a women's division tag team matchup as Liv Morgan enters the squared circle. But before we get to this, we want to take you back to two weeks ago here on Monday Night Raw. Becky Lynch had defeated Natalya in one-on-one -on -one action, but the women's champion, Asuka, looking to send a message to the entire locker room, ambushing Natalya and ambushing the women she defeated back on WrestleMania Sunday, that being Becky Lynch. Very interesting turn of events, but here comes participant number two. And her partner from Columbus, Ohio, Alexa Bliss. Alexa Bliss and Liv Morgan set for a tag team matchup against the two women you just saw on that highlight reel, Becky Lynch and Natalia. Through their battle a few weeks ago, mutual respect earned, and obviously with a common enemy and the Empress of Tomorrow, Asuka. Nonetheless, this tag team matchup made for tonight, and I'm sure all four of these women individually would love to have a chance to take on the Empress of Tomorrow, Asuka, for the WWE Women's Championship. We've seen Liv Morgan and Alexa Bliss team up a lot over the last couple of months, but remember how their tag team partnership came ahead. That was through a mutual respect as well when they both fell in a triple threat match to Asuka back last September at the Judgment Day pay-per-view. But speaking of pay-per-views, the next time we come your way for a live premiere, it is Sunday night, April the 16th from the Target Center in Minneapolis, Minnesota. It is WWE Backlash, and already signed for that event, of course, the five-man elimination matchup, which will feature the Beast Incarnate, Brock Lesnar. Backlash is gonna be an epic event. We have watched it come together over the last couple of weeks, and still tonight, and another episode of Monday Night Raw to come. Cannot wait to get to the Target Center in Minneapolis. It is going to be a live premiere right here on the No Nation Gaming YouTube channel Sunday night, April the 16th. Stay tuned for more information. But here comes Natalia's tag team partner. It is the man, Becky Lynch. Well, Becky Lynch, as we mentioned, defeated an Italian in singles action a few weeks ago. But it was the last time we saw her before that that really changed the tides for the man Becky Lynch. She walked into Tampa Bay, Florida at WrestleMania, went one-on-one -on -one with Asuka, and unfortunately tapped out to the Empress on the grandest stage of them all. Asuka retaining the women's championship, and obviously that has gotten to Becky Lynch. We noticed it the last time Becky made her way to the ring a few weeks ago, but there's... This feels like there's a change in attitude in Becky Lynch, like a change in persona, obviously a change in her look, but there's something different about the man these last couple of weeks. And obviously that mean streak, if you want to call it, paid her dividends against Natalia a few weeks ago, but at the same time, mutual respect being earned between the two women. Very interesting situation regarding Becky Lynch, but 
Nonetheless, we are set for a big time women's tag team matchup here tonight in Green Bay. Natalia and Becky versus Liv Morgan and Alexa Bliss. I'm sure the Empress of Tomorrow, Asuka, your current WWE Women's Champion, has got her eyes locked on this matchup to see who is going to be walking away victorious. Asuka laid out Becky and Natalia a few weeks ago simply to send a message. Now those two women back inside the squared circle and are on the same side. Did Asuka create better friends instead of better enemies? Natalia going for the drop kick there. Liv Morgan will avoid it. We've seen Liv Morgan and Alexa Bliss challenge for the WWE Women's Tag Team Championships. On a few occasions, they were in the inaugural tournament back in the fall. They even challenged for the gold back at Saturday night's main event in December, obviously coming up short. Alexa and Liv Morgan still walking side by side, and I'm sure they'd each individually love to get a shot at Asuka. As we were mentioning, these two women came together in a tag team similar to how Natalia and Becky Lynch did through battle. It was back at Judgment Day, the pay-per-view in September, where Alexa Bliss, Liv Morgan, and Asuka competed in a triple threat match for the Women's Championship. Asuka walked away the victor, and it was after that that Bliss and Liv Morgan started walking side by side. And still, all these months later, continuing to team up in that ring at the end of the day. You've heard it plenty of times before. This business is about winning championships and making money and most of the superstars' eyes not necessarily making friends. But sometimes you need somebody walking by your side to get the championship gold. Oh, Alexa Bliss and Liv Morgan, they could be looking at this matchup as an opportunity to be the next number one contenders for Bianca Belair, as well as Shotzi, who are over on SmackDown as the WWE Women's Tag Team Champions. Well, we will see in due time who is going to be next to step up for championship gold in the women's division as Becky Lynch is in the ring, taking the fight to the goddess, Alexa Bliss. These two women, no strangers to each other. Had a hell of a feud back in 2016, and Alexa Bliss originally came to the main roster. And all these years later, both women decorated careers across Raw, SmackDown, and NXT. And Becky looking to gain a victory over Alexa tonight, not just yet. Ever since she returned, to Monday Night Raw back in February, Becky Lynch, excuse me, back in January, Becky Lynch has only suffered one loss, and again, that comes to Asuka at WrestleMania, but we have seen her defeat the likes of Sasha Banks, Shayna Baszler, outlasting five other women inside the Elimination Chamber matchup in January. Of course, defeated the woman she is teaming up with tonight, that being Natalia, who just got tagged in and now goes behind on Alexa Bliss and sends her over the top rope and down to the floor. Wait a minute, Becky, Hopping off the apron here, and she's going after Alexa Bliss. And you're going to talk about that mean streak we were mentioning. Dropping Alexa on the outside. That neck breaker. Wait a minute. In the other corner of your screen, Natalia. I, I believe she was going after Liv Morgan there. Down goes Liv off the apron. Well, Becky and Natalia have effectively cut the ring in half right now and have divided their opponents. Looking to divide and conquer here on Monday Night Raw. This has been a fight since the opening bell. Becky Lynch and Natalia coming in with attitude and aggression tonight. Natalia still going after Liv Morgan. Becky's still going after Bliss. Oh, wait a minute. Alexa clothesline to Becky, but Natalia just dropped Liv Morgan on the apron. Spine first. And that is not going to be good for the trajectory of this matchup. Liv is down and out. Becky. Down on the outside, Alexa was able to fight her way out of that situation, but we're at a stalemate right now. These women got to get back on track, get this thing back into the ring, and see who's going to come out on the other side. Now Alexa, Italian nice counter there. The Queen of Hearts, forearm to the goddess Alexa Bliss. Into the cover, will that do it to pick up the victory tonight on Raw? Not just yet. Still to come tonight, of course, Cedric Alexander, one-on-one -on -one with Xavier Woods in the second of two semifinal matches in the number one contenders tournament for the Intercontinental title. And of course, in your main event, Seth freaking Rollins, the Celtic Warrior, Sheamus, one-on-one -on -one to see who will secure the final spot in that five-man elimination matchup coming up at Backlash. Alexa back in control over the Queen of Hearts, Natalia. On her way to her corner and a much-needed tag to Liv Morgan, but after that onslaught by Natalia a few moments ago, I mean, what condition is Liv in to keep fighting in this matchup? 
Shoots Natalia off, goes for a drop toe hold. Natalia able to blow by it there, but Liv with a drop kick right to the chest of the queen. And Liv, look at that. Eye for an eye, taking Becky Lynch off the apron now. Will Liv Morgan and Alexa Bliss be able to get back into this matchup? Liv is starting to build momentum. Green Bay by her side. Got Natalia up against the ropes here. Or whatever Liv Morgan was going for, Natalia sending her over the top rope. This is what they can't allow to happen again, getting the ring split in half. It's Natalia with a cheap shot on Alexa, but here comes Liv. Natalia with a sack German into the bridge. Liv gets the shoulder up, but Liv and Alexa are having their trouble in this matchup. Liv back in control. We are in the midst of a tag team matchup between Alexa Bliss and Liv Morgan taking on the man, Becky Lynch, and the Queen of Hearts, Italia. Green Bay, Wisconsin, Monday Night Raw is getting a treat. And still much more to come here on the Red Brand tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, we are going to take a brief break, and we will be back in moments with the conclusion of this epic women's tag team matchup here on Monday Night Raw. Do you want access to a bonus universe mode episode every single month? Well, now you have the chance. Click the join button down below and become a NOAA Nation Gaming channel member. Not only will you receive one bonus universe mode episode every single month, but you'll receive access to exclusive badges, emojis, discounted merchandise, and more. Become a premium pass channel member today and don't miss out on these exclusive perks. No Nation Gaming Channel memberships available right now. The first bonus Universe Mode episode is coming your way on the eve of Backlash, Saturday night, April the 15th, where the United States Champion from SmackDown, Gunther, will be issuing an open challenge for said gold. Much more on that event to come, but we are back on Monday Night Raw. We are in the midst of this tag team matchup. Alexa Bliss and Liv Morgan taking on Becky Lynch and Natalia. Alexa, look at that. Nice arm drag on the man. They have frustrated Becky Lynch there, who dodges the drop kick on Alexa Bliss and drops her with a knee. And into the cover, Becky goes. Will that do it? Liv in there to break things up. Here comes Natalia from the other side and sending Liv Morgan out of the ring. Even Alexa Bliss and Becky Lynch all alone inside a squared circle. This is where in a tag team matchup, things become one-on-one -on -one at least for a moment. Becky down. Oh, wait a minute, Alexa Bliss. Vintage DDT on the man. And that may be all she wrote. Alexa going to pick up a huge victory tonight on Raw, but Natalia in there to break things up. Now this is the tag team partners paying their second half's dividends, breaking up the pinfalls the last minute or so. And Alexa going to have to find another way to keep Becky Lynch down. There's a nice takedown on Becky, continuing the onslaught. That's what the goddess has got to do to keep Becky Lynch down. The man trying to fight back. Alexa with a shot. Goes under. Look at this. Becky Lynch. Simple yet effective. Very creative way to get out of that maneuver. Alexa going to shoot Becky off into the corner. Alexa going after a nice counter by Becky. There's a shot by Liv. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Becky had her back turned. Alexa rolls up Becky, and she got her. Alexa Bliss and Liv Morgan have stole the tag team victory right out from under the nose of Natalia and Becky Lynch tonight here on Monday Night Raw. Here are your winners, Liv Morgan. Well, that was certainly a hard-fought victory. Becky and Natalia tried to divide and conquer, but in the end, Becky had her back turned. Alexa took advantage, and they are your winners tonight here in Green Bay. Well, the action continues here on Monday Night Raw as the Intercontinental Champion Ilya Dragunov takes on the debuting Madcap Moss, plus the brutal Rhea Ripley takes on Nikki Ash. And the results of those contests see Madcap Moss falling to Dragunov in his debut matchup. Plus, the Nightmare Rhea Ripley puts the brutal, brutal beatdown on Nikki here tonight on Raw. 
We are back inside the arena here in Green Bay, Wisconsin, and it is time for your second of two semi-final tournament affairs. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring from Charlotte, North Carolina, weighing in at 200 pounds, Cedric Alexander. Seven nights ago here on Raw, that man, Cedric Alexander, tore the house down with the black card of WWE Tommaso Ciampa and finally earned that big time victory he's been searching for for several months here on the red brand. We have seen Cedric go toe to toe with the best of them, RVD, Randy Orton, Pete Dunne. But Cedric unfortunately month after month, week after week was coming up short. However, last week fought tooth and nail and outlasted the onslaught from Tommaso Ciampa and Alexander got his hand raised in the first round of this tournament. But tonight, set to go one-on-one -on -one with the man who may be the hungriest for singles championship gold in this eight-man tournament, that being the New Day's Xavier Woods. And his opponent representing the New Day from Atlanta, Georgia, weighing in at 200. Xavier Woods. We talked about it last week here on Raw, but Xavier Woods, a decorated tag team star throughout his WWE career. However, he has never held singles championship gold. And this Intercontinental Championship number one contenders tournament could be finally the opportunity that Woods has always been searching for. He defeated The Miz in the first round, and now we have these two highly athletic and talented individuals ready to lock horns. Quite frankly, two fan favorites here on Monday Night Raw, Xavier Woods and Cedric Alexander. This is gonna be a good one. Shinsuke Nakamura defeating Damian Priest to kick us off earlier tonight. He will meet the winner of this matchup next week in the finals. But here we are, it is Cedric Alexander, Xavier Woods, semis are underway here on Monday Night Raw. It'll be very interesting to see who gets the upper hand, what the pace of this matchup is. And I got a feeling it's gonna be pedal to the metal. Xavier Woods, springboard, tornado DDT, hits the ropes, Cedric with the drop toe hold. I just got a feeling, do not blink or you might miss something in this incredible matchup between Cedric Alexander and Xavier Woods. And what a counter there. What a striking, powerful lariat by Woods. This is gonna be a good one. I just feel it, it is in the air tonight in Green Bay. It's already been an awesome night here on Monday Night Raw on the road to Backlash. And these two guys are just ready to up the ante. Once again, springboard, second tornado DDT. And Practically under a minute. Land on the head a few times. I don't care who you are. You ain't going to be waking up for a while. Cedric Alexander, though, we have talked about it long and hard. It has been well documented. The heart, the soul, the intestinal fortitude of that young man. He has been chomping at the bit for singles glory for months here on Monday Night Raw. He has fallen to Randy Orton, yet pushed him to the limit. He has fallen to Rob Van Dam, yet pushed him to the limit. We've seen him in the ring with Pete Dunne. We've seen him in the ring with the Nigerian giant Omas. But Cedric finally got his hand raised last week, and you know that's a feeling that Alexander wants to duplicate here tonight on Raw. And Xavier Woods back in the driver's seat, at least for a moment. Nice swinging neck breaker, follows it up with that baseball DDT. Excuse me, baseball slide drop kick there. Another neck breaker by Xavier Woods. Woods looking to bring some good mojo to the new day. You remember Big E, unfortunately, last week in the main event, fell to Braun Strowman and Bobby Lashley. It was that triple threat matchup. Bobby Lashley walking away the victor to qualify for backlash. Meanwhile, Xavier Woods has got Cedric Alexander all kinds of tied up right now. Looking for a tap out here tonight in Green Bay. And Alexander able to avoid it. This is gonna be tit for tat all the way through. We've seen a lot of back and forth since the opening bell, and I don't expect it to stop anytime soon. Alexander, off that knee. Will that do it? Woods gets the shoulder up. Cedric Alexander wants more than anything to lock horns with Ilya Dragunov for the Intercontinental Championship. On the flip side, Xavier Woods for years has been starving for a singles championship here in WWE, and this is the opportunity They'll get one step closer to achieving that goal. 
Only one man can fight Shinsuke Nakamura in the finals of this tournament. Next week here on Monday Night Raw, who is it going to be? Is it going to be Woods or Alexander? And what the hell does Cedric have in mind? Drop it, Xavier Woods, spine first on the top rope and the top buckle. Green Bay, Wisconsin showing their appreciation for these two athletes as Xavier Woods eats the canvas for dinner. Alexander into the pinfall, but Woods, lucky for him, saved by the ropes there. As Alexander springboard and continuing to work on that lower back of the Xavier Woods. Cedric could be trying to soften up Xavier Woods for the lumbar check later on. There's the maneuver that he used to defeat Tommaso Ciampa last week here on Raw. Alexander just a moment ago with a springboard tornado DDT of his own. Has eight and two of those by Woods, but also knows how to dish it out. Woods now whips him off. Alexander avoids whatever he had in mind. Both men were going for strikes there, but it's Xavier Woods who is playing chess, not checkers. Into the cover. Alexander gets the shoulder up again. And Woods springboard looked like he was going for a possible drop kick there and gets sent over the top rope. And Cedric. Looking to make this number one contenders tournament truly the age of Alexander. Cedric wants to see his name up in the lights, high in the sky, just as he was moments ago. Cedric throwing caution in the wind, all in the means to fight Shinsuke Nakamura next week here on Raw. Woods down and out, just got laid out on that barricade. He has taken a lot of offense to that back throughout this matchup. Can't fight if your back's not mo mobile, I should say. Alexander went for a strike there. Woods, you see him able to dodge it. Oh, wait a minute. He's got him in a... Oh, man, I thought he would have been going for a burning hammer, but instead pushes Alexander off, and this time it's Cedric eating the back. Double knees to the spine. Xavier Woods looking to return the favor. It was a lumbar check variation of his own, and now Woods, suplex, simple yet effective maneuver by one-third of the new day. Goes for a strike. Alexander, reversal, one of his own, make that two. Wait a minute, lumbar check! Cedric into the cover. He's moving on to the finals. No! Xavier Woods pops the shoulder off the canvas, and this semifinal matchup moves on for another moment. Meanwhile, Alexander going for the frog splash, but there was nobody home. Green Bay is coming unglued. Meanwhile, Xavier Woods stack it up. Cedric Alexander. Alexander able to pop out of it. This is what just the opportunity to become the Intercontinental Champion is all about, ladies and gentlemen. You got to get through this match. You got to get through Nakamura next week. Then you got to battle Ilya Dragunov at Backlash. And then possibly you'll get the whole theater capital gold in your hands. These two men want it more than anything. You know the respect is there between these two incredible athletes, but respect goes out the window when such an opportunity hangs in the balance. Alexander, split-legged springboard moonsault. I'm going to learn that one from Rob Van Dam off his couple of ma matchups with him a few months ago. Woods rolling to the outside, trying to catch a breather, and I think Alexander keeping his eyes on him, but also doing the same, which is probably smart, as this match is really starting to go the distance. Both men have already pulled out some of their best maneuvers. What more do they still got in the tank? Woods sending Cedric into the corner. What has Xavier Woods got in mind? There's a Tornado DDT. This time, no springboard. Simple off the middle rope, keeping it easier there. Oh, wait. There's a counter. And the back and forth momentum continues in this match. German suplex followed by an elbow. Xavier Woods moves out of the way. There's another suplex. Cedric this time rolls to the outside. And now it's Cedric Alexander, who's on spaghetti legs. On the outskirts of the ring, here comes Woods, Tope Suicida, and down goes Alexander. And the roll reversal this time, as Xavier Woods takes things to the sky, and Cedric Alexander is down and out on the outskirts of the ring. And what a fight this has been since that bell sounded. And these guys are gonna keep fighting. 
keep swinging for the fences until the bell sounds again. Xavier Woods, a little slot there. He'll pay suicida to the outside, may have been just what he needed to take Cedric down and out. Woods on the top rope. Alexander, however, knocking him off. There's the elbow he was looking for a few moments ago. Follows it up with a knee. Just trying to beat down Woods right now. Already pulled out the lumbar check. Xavier Woods survives. Cedric Alexander is going to have to dig deep in the bag of tricks and pull something that Xavier Woods isn't expecting out of the hat. You see the exhaust starting to set in. Continuing to go back and forth, but the pace has certainly slowed down a little bit. Wait a minute, look at this knee bar. Submission hold by Alexander. Well, you want to talk about digging deep into the bag of tricks. Uncharacteristic by Cedric there. But Xavier Woods was able to get out of it. Nonetheless, Alexander trying anything and anything, anything and everything we should say to keep Xavier Woods down and out tonight. Nice chop. There's a right hand by Alexander. And Woods heads to the outside. Woods needs a breathing clearly. Wait a minute, Cedric. Don't take your eyes off him. The former cruiserweight champion, crossbody over the top rope. Cedric Alexander, no stranger to taking things to the sky, willing to put high risk, high reward to its fullest extent, and once again goes over the top rope and down to the floor. Cedric speedballing back into the ring. Wait a minute, I don't think he's done. I think Alexander wants to make it a dose, or should I say a trace, in this matchup over the top again. Cedric Alexander will not stop fighting until his heart stops pumping. Shinsuke Nakamura, no matter who survives this matchup, is gonna have a tough battle awaiting him next week here on Raw. But has Alexander exhausted himself? We talked about this last week in his match with Tommaso Ciampa. He was able to survive, but clearly that high-risk offense is gonna take just as much out of you as it will your opponent, because here comes Woods. Cedric Alexander may be running on E, and Xavier Woods may be nearing the finish line. Back and forth again. Woods heads to the outside. Cedric Alexander, oh my God, over the top again. Alexander is gonna need ice in the morning. Coming ribs on ribs with Xavier Woods. And somehow he's still moving. Now Cedric Alexander goes behind, could have been looking for the lumbar check there. This time Woods had it scouted, goes behind himself and brings Alexander down to the canvas. We are in deep waters in this semifinal matchup. This may be the best match of the tournament so far from my personal opinion. Xavier Woods notices the exhaustion in his opponent. Wants to capitalize, but Alexander able to get the shoulder off the canvas, and this matchup moves on. Green Bay, Wisconsin showing their appreciation. They are getting a doozy here tonight on Raw. It's been an awesome night inside of that squared circle. Pound for pound action. You ain't gonna find this in any other universe. That's for damn sure as Alexander takes down Xavier Woods. It is now or never. Put the nail in the coffin or you will not be moving on. And again, Xavier Woods with the reversal. Alexander with the reversal. A knee goes high up and takes Xavier Woods down. And now Cedric's going to the top rope. He wanted the frog splash earlier. He hits it again. Didn't catch all of it that time. I believe all he caught, maybe the arm of Xavier Woods. Still gonna go for the cover anyway. Don't let the maneuver go to waste. But obviously didn't hit it flush. And Xavier Woods is able to survive. And there's a rolling forearm by Woods. Alexander pops up, goes for the chop. Woods counters. There's a counter by Cedric. Back and forth we go. Got him up. There's the bridge. Hooks the leg. Will that do it? There it is. Whoo, what a matchup here on Monday Night Raw. Cedric Alexander and Xavier Woods 
coming out and stealing the show before our very eyes. What a contest. Here is your winner, Cedric Alexander. Cedric Alexander continues to climb the ladder of success here on the Red Brand. And next week, he goes one-on-one -on -one with the King of Strong Style. The winner meets Ilya Dragunov at Backlash for the Intercontinental Gold. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we want to take you back to last week here on Monday Night Raw, the man known as the Street Champ, Solo Sokoa, who was drafted to Raw from NXT a few weeks ago, ambushing the WWE Champion Matt Riddle in the backstage area, and unfortunately, as you're about to see, sent him off a ledge through a damn LED light, absolutely exploding it. Riddle was down and out, but unfortunately, we had to hear from the man he will face at Backlash, Randy Orton, earlier today on Twitter, who said this, a shame what happened to Matt Riddle last week, but hey, if he's even able to walk by April 16th, I'll gladly end his career inside Hell in a Cell and take back my WWE Championship. Matt Riddle, of course, responded and had this to say, Solo may have kicked me off that ledge last week, but I'd be willing to bet the blood is on Randy Orton's hands. Randy, I don't care if I have to show up to Minneapolis in an ambulance. I'm coming to Backlash and ending this once and for all. See you in hell. Matt Riddle, by hook or by crook, will drag his carcass to Minneapolis, Minnesota, because on April the 16th, it's hell in a cell. Loser leaves Raw. Matt Riddle, Randy Orton, a story that has been going for the last year, will come to its conclusion at hell in a cell on April 16th. And also just announced taking place at Backlash, a five woman elimination challenge for the WWE Women's Championship. Asuka, Becky, Natalya, Liv, and Alexa Bliss, who is gonna leave the WWE Women's Champion? What about next week here on Monday Night Raw as we just determined Shinsuke Nakamura, Cedric Alexander, the winner is going to fight Ilya Dragunov for the Intercontinental Championship at Backlash. It is going to be one hell of a fight next week on Raw. And the fight for Randy Orton is back in action prior to Backlash for the first time since WrestleMania as he is set to go one-on-one -on -one with a close friend of Matt Riddle's, that being Mr. Monday Night, Rob Van Dam. A whole lot of action coming your way starting next week on Raw, leading into April the 16th at Backlash. But it is time for your main event from Green Bay, Wisconsin. It is fight night. Who is going to backlash? Sheamus, Seth Rollins. This is going to be one for the ages here on Raw. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, accompanied by Rich Holland. Representing the Brawling Brutes from Dublin, Ireland. Weighing in at 267 pounds, the Celtic Warrior, Sheamus! Sheamus and Rollins, who is going to be the fifth and final man to compete in this very five-man elimination matchup at Backlash. Kevin Owens, Bobby Lashley, Karrion Cross, and the Beast Incarnate, Brock Lesnar, who is going to walk away from Minneapolis the new number one contender for the WWE title. First, we must determine all five men who are gonna participate on that night. Sheamus set in the battlefield, and here comes the man who was drafted from SmackDown a number of weeks ago. The former world heavyweight champion, the visionary, the revolutionary, and I guess now that he's back on Raw, the Monday Night Messiah, Seth freaking Rollins! And his opponent from Davenport, Iowa, weighing in at 217 pounds, Seth freaking Rollins! Well, Seth Rollins dominated SmackDown from December the 9th till February 25th as the World Heavyweight Champion, defeating the likes of John Cena, Dolph Ziggler, but unfortunately fell to Drew McIntyre on WrestleMania Saturday. But now Rollins back here on the red brand and with a new leash on his career, a possible opportunity at the WWE Championship if he can get through Sheamus, and then of course if he can get through 
Four other challengers at Backlash. This is gonna be a good one. It is main event time here in Green Bay, Wisconsin on Monday Night Raw. Sheamus and Seth Rollins set the lock horns. As we get set for this matchup, you notice that Sheamus was making his way to ringside. The man known as Ridge Holland accompanying Sheamus out to the ring tonight. This man, Rich Holland, participant from NXT, who has now been brought to Monday Night Raw on behalf of Sheamus, his new protege, if you will, was going to be accompanying Sheamus here on the red brand. And not to cut myself off, but Sheamus immediately bringing the fight to Seth Rollins. Triple backbreakers there. The Celtic Warrior wants his opportunity to enter the five-man matchup at Backlash. Look at this, has got Seth Rollins over the shoulder right now into a submission hold. Sheamus is bringing the fight to the former World Heavyweight Champion. Now Rollins, wait a minute, roll up on Sheamus, there's a rope right there, but I think Rollins is trying to stop the momentum of Sheamus off the opening bell, excuse me. Now Rollins with that rolling forearm. Again, Rollins may be looking at Monday Night Raw as a new leash on his career, but I'm sure the lingering effects of losing his world championship at WrestleMania are still stinging in the heart of Seth Rollins. And he's looking to right that wrong to the best of his ability starting tonight here on Raw. Rollins with a nice shot to Sheamus. I don't know if you want to throw haymakers with the Celtic Warrior, though. They don't call this man a brawling brute for nothing. An electric chair takes down Rollins into the cover. Will that do it to move on to Backlash? Not just yet. Again, Bobby Lashley defeated Big E and Braun Strowman to qualify last week, and then Kevin Owens carrying cross Brock Lesnar, all men who were victorious at WrestleMania. Therefore, we're given those spots in the five-man elimination challenge. Man, Backlash is really shaping up to be one hell of an event. The five-man matchup. What about the news we just found out moments ago? Now a five-women elimination matchup signed for Backlash between Becky Lynch, Natalya, Alexa Bliss, Liv Morgan, and Asuka for the WWE Women's Championship. That is gonna be huge. Not to mention the Hell in a Cell loser leaves Raw matchup between Matt Riddle and Randy Orton for the WWE title. God only knows the condition of Matt Riddle and what he's gonna be in come Minneapolis. We will see Randy Orton back in action next week here on Raw as he is set to go one-on-one -on -one with Rob Van Dam. Also next week on Raw, Cedric Alexander to meet Shinsuke Nakamura in the finals of the number one contenders tournament. The winner will move on to April the 16th to fight Ilya Dragunov for the Intercontinental Gold. Sheamus has been bringing the fight to Seth Rollins since the opening bell. Rollins has really not gotten much momentum going in your main event tonight. And Sheamus just chasing down the visionary. Rollins, I think, is just trying to catch a breather right now. In comes Sheamus, and out he goes. Rollins takes down the opposer. Seth Rollins just trying to stop the momentum of Sheamus and get this match going to his style, his pace. The former world champion wants to punch his ticket to Minneapolis, Minnesota, and step inside that five-man challenge. Not that the four men awaiting you are certainly any bit inviting, but... If war is what you got to go through to obtain a shot at the WWE Championship, well, there isn't one man on the roster who isn't willing to go through that. Rollins going for a Phoenix Splash, and Sheamus nowhere to be found. And that may have just handed the momentum on a silver platter right back to the Celtic Warrior as Sheamus now is once again in control of your main event here on Raw. Tilt to World Backbreaker. Into the cover again. Sheamus is going for a lot of pinfalls here, and I'm not sure if he... I think that time he might have believed he could have put Rollins away, but how many of those pinfalls are simply just to get in the head of Seth Rollins? Is Rollins' mind still at losing his world championship at WrestleMania? Or has he refocused? Sheamus doesn't care where Rollins' mind at. He is going to take advantage to the fullest extent. Rollins trying to knock Sheamus off his game with the roll-up, but again, saved by the ropes. A whole lot of action to keep up with in your main event tonight. Rollins off the neck breaker. He's got Sheamus go for another one. No, that time turned it out into a forearm to the back of the neck. And I don't care who you are, how tough you are. That is certainly going to do some damage as Rollins is continuing to work on that neck. Could be looking to soften up for that curb stomp. 
Seth Rollins has got Sheamus tonight, a man who knows Drew McIntyre, the new World Heavyweight Champion, very well. I'm sure there might be a bit of Seth Rollins who is looking at Sheamus as if he's Drew McIntyre, trying to take out some action, take out some aggression, take out some vengeance on the man he unfortunately fell to in his mind at WrestleMania. Rollins, nonetheless, has finally started to slow down Sheamus. But he has really been all over Seth since the opening bell. Sending Sheamus back over the top rope here. Rollins goes for a shot. Sheamus counters. Rollins counters in Seguri. And down goes the Celtic Warrior. And Rollins doesn't give a damn how he gets his hand raised. I'm sure he would happily take a count out here. Sheamus back into the ring. And here comes Rollins. Going right back after him. Sheamus just running through that clothesline. Back at a stalemate. Rollins went for a drop kick. I believe Sheamus was going for a bro kick there. Both men had similar ideas. And... Neither man hit connect. Now there's a big boot by Rollins. And it's been a little while since Sheamus has been inside the squared circle. He wasn't on WrestleMania. You remember over a few months ago, it was about two months ago, Sheamus went one-on-one -on -one with Karrion Cross here on Monday Night Raw. An absolutely brutal altercation, which ended in a double count out. And after the matchup, Karrion Cross took the fight to Sheamus before RVD made the save. Now I'm sure Sheamus is looking at Karrion Cross in that five-man elimination match at Backlash and is looking to not only earn a match for the WWE Championship, but could be looking to extract some revenge on Karrion Cross for that matchup a few months ago. Nonetheless, he's gotta stay focused on Rollins here. Sheamus with Rollins up, Rollins with the counter. And there's a takedown by the, by the visionary, excuse me. It's been an exciting night, whole lot of action to call. I'm tripping over my own damn marks. Now Rollins up on the top rope. Could be looking for that Phoenix Splash he was searching for earlier, and this time he hits it. And that may be all she wrote. Is the win knocked out of Sheamus long enough for Rollins to move on? Not just yet. Sheamus lives to fight another moment. He was really in control the first few minutes of this matchup, but Seth Rollins has really turned the tides. Wait a minute. Pedigree by the Visionary. And that's going to do it. Ain't no way you're getting up from that. But don't count out the Celtic Warrior as he climbs the shoulder off the canvas. And Sheamus may want this championship match more than Seth Rollins. Rollins has got to be thinking what's he got to do to keep Sheamus down. Sheamus trying to fight back. A couple of elbows there. And I believe he was going for the bro kick, but didn't get all of it. Rollins a little too close to the ropes. And Sheamus just throwing haymakers on the re revolutionary right now. Nonetheless, Rollins is down. Damage has been done. And Sheamus is looking for the pinfall victory here. Is that going to be enough? As Rollins able to kick out. Sheamus going to continue on the offense. Double underhook. Gut wrench powerbomb there. Sheamus has been WWE Champion before. He's been World Champion before. The United States Intercontinental Tag Team, Money in the Bank. Sheamus has done it all here in World Wrestling Entertainment, but he wants another crack at the WWE title. Oh, wait a minute. Sheamus got Rollins under his, or over his head, I should say, and a bit of a shoulder breaker there on the visionary of Monday Night Raw. Rollins, there's a counter. Swing blade. And this main event is really starting to hit in high gear as Rollins is heading back to the top rope. Here comes the visionary dropping an elbow on the windpipe of Sheamus. But Sheamus kicks out. Back and forth we go in the late rounds of your main event tonight in Green Bay, Wisconsin. Sheamus up against the ropes. What the hell does Seth Rollins got in mind? His wheel's obviously spinning. Waited too long to act there, and Sheamus may have took advantage, but Rollins with a counter, and there's a neck breaker. What is it gonna take for one of these men to simply not be able to answer that count of three, and for the other to punch their golden ticket to the five-man elimination match at Backlash? Sheamus stays into the corner. Seth Rollins bringing him up to the top. What has Rollins got in mind here? Oh, wait a minute. Seth Rollins is going to do the deed. Superplex. Falcon Arrow. 
He has retained his world championship in the past with this maneuver, but it's not enough to keep Sheamus down. What a main event it has been. We saw him use that same maneuver in his world championship reign back in January to defeat Dolph Ziggler at the Elimination Chamber, but Sheamus obviously operating on a higher level tonight. Able to survive the suplex Falcon Arrow combination. Now takes down Rollins. Sheamus's wheels are spinning now. What has the Celtic Warrior got in the tank? Backbreaker. Oh no, spins him out. Bro kick. And this time he nails it flush. Into the cover goes Sheamus. And that will do it. What a physical main event affair. Seth Rollins throwing the pedigree, throwing the Phoenix Splash, the super kick. The Falcon Arrow, this should be the suplex in Falcon Arrow. Here is your winner, the Celtic Warrior, Sheamus. But none of it was enough to keep that man down. And ladies and gentlemen, we now know coming up at Backlash, it'll be Sheamus, Bobby Lashley, Kevin Owens, Karrion Cross, and the Beast Incarnate, Brock Lesnar. Five-man elimination match. The winner will earn a future opportunity at the WWE Championship. Thank you for joining us tonight on Raw, and we will see you next week for the go home to the Backlash pay-per-view event. Thank you, and good night from Green Bay. Face on when I chase like that, yeah, I play so strong with a knife in the back, I'm a swing home run like a baseball bat, gonna see me rise, you can hate on that, I don't play both sides, don't need no cap, I'm a rider.